Whew, all right guys, so Jewel Woodstock is over. And we're headed home back to Colorado. But on our way, we're going to get the second oldest geocache in the state of Texas. It is called Texas Duo hyphen second oldest cache in Texas. GC98, come on. We're bringing you along. Let's go for a geocaching adventure on the way home. and it never fails. When you're in a semi-hurry to get somewhere, you're gonna come across a choo-choo. Two hours later. All right, so we have arrived at the parking coordinates. And now it is a 400 foot walk to get to the cache. Tally ho. Kind of a little area out here so there's definitely a geo trail going to this one which you would expect for a uh, year 2000 cache we're about 20 feet from it, so we're thinking it's up here in some of this. Yeah, there we go. So there was a, uh, a picture of this cache location recently on social media that had like four little baby copperheads out on the uh, cash container. And hanging out down here in this uh, hollowed out log would make sense. And we found this is a snake shed. Um, so definitely a uh, place to poke a stick before you put your hand in. Let's get this thing open, Lou, what's in it? There's a, there's a log book, that's what we're after. But there appears, appears to be some, well, there's a travel bug. And, uh, couple of proxy coins and then an uh, old log book and there's some pretty good looking swag down in here a little Rubik's Cube army man necklace beads all right guys so some interesting fun facts about this cache right there is it is the second oldest active geocache in the state of Texas it was the hundred and fifty second cache ever published um, it is on its sixth container and currently is on its fourth owner um, it's was the tree that it was hidden in was struck by lightning 
it survived animals chewing through it um, or at least the new container has um, and it's um, been a victim of a controlled burn up here in the area and it's it's still here so kind of some interesting information one of the previous owners um, to this cache was nine key if you know who nine key is he helped create the texas geocaching association way 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 back in the day uh, he's also the guy who came up with the idea for attributes um, he was pretty big on um, wanting to know how to filter geocaches so that he could find very specific ones that he wanted um, and is the guy who is credited for uh, the creation of attributes that we put on cache pages today William Ninekey passed away recently up in Colorado, um, so um, kind of neat to find a living legacy of his and be able to tie some of this stuff all together in a giant roundabout way. Uh, we're going to get get out of this thicket and back to the car. We've got to make it home to Colorado in a decent hour or two be at work tomorrow and for me to drive to Wyoming for my temporary job up there so this is where we're gonna leave it hey guys remember you can always follow me on my other social media I am on Periscope Instagram and on Twitter you can find me on all of those at the same username at 3 Charles Watkins also I will be putting a link to all of my other social media in the description below feel free to follow me there. Until next time, guys, get out there, get caching, and we'll see you guys on the next geocaching adventure.